Okay, I'm excited to look into the topic of Node.js using a test-driven development style. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, look at a example. Um, and this example is available at bit.ly node tdd hyphen tdd hyphen example. So if you go to that URL, you can get the uh, zipped up file. And that is what I'm working with right now. So if I list the contents uh, right here, uh, you'll see that in here I already have uh, an additional folder node modules that you'll have to get uh, by running npm install once you're inside of the directory. That will add the node modules that are specified in the package JSON over here. Okay, once you have done that, you will also need to uh, modify the file called fbconfig.js, and you'll have to modify that with information that you would get from uh, Firebase, because this is also going to be uh, an application that integrates with Firebase. So you would have to go to your Firebase uh, via Google, uh, so firebase.google.com, and you have to go to your app's uh, console, uh, and go to authentication and then go to email password and enable that um, and then just go ahead and manually add a user uh, with an email and a password um, and then after that uh, you'll be able to uh, access uh, the database with the email and password. I will also be taking a look at a database um, over here is uh, my database and we'll be showing an interaction with this database uh, by this particular user. So what I'm going to do uh, without any further ado is just go ahead and uh, run the program so you can see what it's going, how it's going to actually perform at the end. So I'm going to run npm uh, start and here it is running. It's asking for my email. And then it's asking for a password. And then it verifies with the server. Uh, and then it tells me, hey, uh, I noticed that you've played this game before. The number of uh, tries that you had in the previous game is six. And if you look down at the database over here, you can see that indeed uh, there are six uh, tries recorded in the database at the Firebase. And then it says number of tries in the current game is 1, because this is a number guessing game. Guess the number between 1 and 10. So let's go ahead. This is also a command line interface game, so I'm just going to go over here and 2. Oh, I guessed it in one try. Wow. And notice that the database recorded uh, over here that I've got it in one try. So it said the um, tries have been saved to our database, uh, cloud database. So how were we able to do this? Okay. Um, and how was this uh, done with test? Uh, driven development. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to go ahead and open up everything in this folder uh, using, uh, I'm going to use the Atom Editor actually. So let me open the Atom Editor up here in a moment. Okay, there's the Atom Editor opening things up. Let me resize it here for this particular situation. So in the Atom Editor, let me just uh, cover a few things about uh, the situation. Uh, let's just identify first, for example, um, the README I put in here. Um, I'm going to actually put the README into uh, reading mode with the markdown and go over some learning goals. Uh, we're going to learn about test-driven development with Node.js uh, using Mocha and Chai as well. Um, and it goes through a bunch of other learning goals right here as, uh, that you can look into yourself. I'm just going to close that up for now. And let's go over to uh, the next thing. Let's see. Um, let's take a look, uh, for example, at a little flowchart. Uh, this is a flowchart that was made with a plugin for a flowchart that was made with a simple uh, plugin for Atom. Um, and sorry, the flowchart doesn't exactly fit into this little space. But this gets the basic idea of what's going on with the application. Basically, I start it with an npm start command, uh, and then it attempts to get me logged into uh, Firebase as a user. 
Uh, if that doesn't go well, then it just throws an error and ends. If it does go well, uh, it tries to get me uh, data about previously played games from the server. If it does get any information, uh, then it sets that value and then does a custom prompt. If not, it goes right to the custom prompt and gets me guessing at numbers. Okay, then I guess at numbers until I get it right. Once I get it right, it records it to the database and ends. If I don't get it right, it loops through the main loop here uh, until I finally get it correct and then it ends. That's the basic idea of the game. Um, this plugin is not bad. It's not great either. It's uh, I think it's called uh, Diagrams uh, plugin and it's available for the Atom editor. Okay, so there it is. And let's take a look over here at another thing. This is going to be the uh, devlog. So the devlog, I'm also going to open up the devlog in um, going control shift M to show the markdown for it. So in my devlog, I just kind of chronicled uh, what I did in developing this application. I first of all just made some spaghetti code that got everything working, but it really didn't have the proper design features. It wasn't exporting itself as a module, first of all. Uh, it was in spaghetti code. It wasn't uh, nicely organized in either uh, an object literal or a uh, class or something of that nature that would be an appropriate uh, module design pattern. But then in the, my release candidate two, as I called it over here, um, I started to uh, export as a object literal. Uh, but then I noticed that I used an Im improper promises pattern. I used an anti-pattern of nesting promises. Um, I didn't have proper error handling capability. Then I went to release candidate three, uh, where I chained promises in the proper manner and was able to uh, uh, capture the errors properly. At that point, I kind of uh, infused the uh, uh, application with some uh, test conditional log logic so I could run some tests. So uh, let me just run the tests right now so you can see what those look like. Um, well, let's, let's look at the actual test file. Over here in the test directory, I have a test file. Okay, and the test file is saying, okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this is all um, a set of application unit tests. I want to test the email. I want to test the getting the, getting the password. I want to test the main loop. The email and password tests are tests where I am trying to um, to uh, test the promise uh, resolves and promise rejects uh, for each of them because they are uh, returning promises. And then the main loop, I'm checking to see uh, based upon the number of tries it takes me if I get the right output. So if I run the tests right now, uh, let me go ahead and run the tests. Um, so it's going to be npm uh, test. Uh, it runs my tests, uh, and all of those uh, tests uh, there pass. Oh, I'm sorry, the size is off a little bit. Okay, so all of my tests pass. Uh, it's nothing uh, fancy at all. It's just uh, some basic unit tests uh, intended to be part of a, a teaching unit for uh, next year. I'm going to use so. Um, Take a look at this package. Uh, just keep in mind, of course, that you're going to need to uh, adapt the uh, FB config file to your Fire, uh, Firebase configuration uh, before doing so. Uh, take a look at it. Uh, tell me what you think. Again, it's available, and I'll just type it out here again. Uh, it's av uh, All of this is available at bit.ly forward slash and that's node slash or forwards um, hyphen uh, TDD hyphen example. Okay, and it's also dealing with Firebase. I guess I could have added that. Okay, thank you.